Well, I think most of us now know that it is indeed summertime, so we wanted to talk to Lyle from the Bartlett Tree Experts about specific damage that may occur on large specimens like trees and shrubs and what we can do to notice it or get help or what we do about it. Correct. So this time of the year with this excessive heat that we're experiencing, you're really going to start seeing the conifers uh, changing colors, um, especially if they had a drought, uh, drought stress last year. Right. You're going to see some exaggerated drought stress this year, especially if there was nothing done to mitigate that stress from last year. And so let's make that clear to people because I think we can we get confused a lot that we think, well, you know, last summer it was a drought, but then it rained as normal. We have a lot of rain, so that took care of that drought, but that's not really correct, is it? Correct. We have to think of watering and like you, a lot of people get confused that, oh my God, we had a lot of rain this winter and now it's why am I, why, why is my tree droughting? It's like kind of like saying, okay, drink this six gallon jug of water in May, you should be good till right, August. Right, because you won't be. <laughs> you won't be. It, 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 it leaves. It's right. used up. It's moving. Water's always flowing. So, so then what, what does one do? How do you recognize that maybe it's not just a new struggle, but it might be a past one? What are some tells that they can look for? So you're going to see some wilting leaves um, on uh, deciduous trees. You're going to see a, a tree just won't look as vigor. Right. You're going to start seeing color changes. You look uh, up against uh, healthy trees, and you'll see kind of a tinted green on especially conifers and things like that, and the wilting uh, needles and such. Yeah, they really, and I, I maybe I just over time I've learned it, but I can see when they're almost dull looking. Right. There's no vibrancy to them. Exactly, that. yep. And so then what does it do though? I mean, how do you water enough to get that done? <laughs> so that's a great question. So really with, with mature trees, it's not realistic to bring your hose out and water a Douglas fir. A Douglas fir on a hot day in will be taking up around 800 to 1200 gallons of water. Oh wow. You literally can't stand there in that day and water that tree to have it survive. It's really keeping the vigor up, fertilization. Um, it's just, it's really the keeping, vigor's the number one thing on conifers. And, and on fertilization, it's really, it's not like you can mix up some miracle grow in a bucket and pour on a tree and think, I've covered this, is it? Correct. <laughs> fertilization is becoming more of a science and we really have to look at fertilization as soil health care. And so uh, one of the things that we recommend at Bartlett Tree Experts is we're looking at what does the soil need? So we're looking at the science of the soil and right. we all have different soils. Every property was constructed differently, soils scraped off, soils added, mulch is added, and so we really want to know what we have in the soil. So soil testing is the first step. Once you find out what's in the soil, then you can start identifying what does the plant that you're going to put in that soil need. Right. And we build our soil health program based on that aspect. So it's all about the science versus haphazardly throwing fertilizer, Just on nitrogen random, on, right. on randomly. So. And then once, once you get all that information, there's still a chance though that if you didn't take care of the tree and the shrub before, it, it just isn't going to make it possible. Correct. Drought, depending on the longevity of the drought, so you can have drought last year and not done anything and now you're seeing it severe this year, you may not be able to pull that tree okay. out. And then what, what, can, what do you guys do? When you come out and talk to people, you'll come out and be able to, to tell what all of this go is going on and you can look and see we can save this one, we can't save this Correct. one, and work with the clients. Yep. Built based on experience and things like that, we can build uh, prescriptions to help uh, mitigate that stress from that through soil health care, uh, through insect disease right. treatments and things like that. Because one thing that happens when you have stress on a tree, deciduous or conifer, is you have opportunist insects now affecting it. Right. So right. you really have to, you have secondaries coming in that are giving you the notice that the tree is dying, but the, the actual incident was the drought the previous Before, year. Yeah. Well, you know, it might be confusing, and to some of us, it really is. I know it is to me. So for more information on how you can find out what's really going on, not only in your soil, but in your yard, we suggest you go to Gardentime.tv. We will click you over to the Bartlett Tree Expert website. Have them come out, take a look, and help them make your garden as beautiful as you want it to be. Lyle, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you.